Here comes the U.S. Navy's next generation attack submarine. Hello everyone, and welcome to the U.S. Military Power Channel. Ballistic missile submarines have a single strategic mission of carrying nuclear submarine-launched ballistic missiles. Attack submarines have several tactical missions, including sinking ships and subs, launching cruise missiles, and gathering intelligence. The submarine has a long history in the United States, beginning with the Turtle, the world's first submersive, with a documented record of use in combat. The first submarine used in combat was the USS Turtle. The Turtle was built in 1775 and was made to attach explosive charges to the hulls of ships. Several attempts were made against British ships in the American harbors in 1776, but none were successful. Real progress began in the late 19th century with the building of the USS Holland, SS-1, named after John Philip Holland. The boat was developed at Lewis Nixon's Crescent Shipyard, located in Elizabeth, New Jersey. The pioneering craft was in service for 10 years and was a developmental and trials vessel for many systems on other early submarines. The Navy wants to begin procuring a new class of nuclear-powered attack submarines, SSN, called the Next Generation Attack Submarine, or SSNX, in 2031. The SSNX would be the successor to the Virginia-class SSN design, which the Navy has been procuring since 1998. Congress approved $1 million in initial research and development funding for the SSNX program in 2021. An issue for Congress in 2022 and subsequent years is whether to approve reject or modify the Navy's funding requests and acquisition strategy for the SSNX program. Congress's decisions on this issue could affect Navy capabilities and funding requirements and the U.S. shipbuilding industrial base. The U.S. Navy operates three types of submarines. Nuclear Powered Ballistic Missile Submarines, SSBNs, Nuclear Powered Cruise Missile and Special Operations Forces, SFO, Submarines, SSGNs, and Nuclear Powered Attack Submarines, SSNs. The SSNs are general purpose submarines that can perform a variety of peacetime and wartime missions. The Navy also has three Seawolf-class submarines. Commissioned on July 19, 1997, the USS Seawolf SSN-21 is exceptionally quiet, fast, well-armed, and equipped with advanced sensors. Though lacking VLS, the Seawolf-class has eight torpedo tubes and can hold up to 50 weapons in its torpedo room. The third ship of the class, USS Jimmy Carter, SSN-23, has a 100-foot hull extension called the Multi-Mission Platform. The hull section provides for additional payloads to accommodate advanced technology used to carry out classified research and development and for enhanced warfighting capabilities. Since 2011, Virginia-class SSNs have been procured at a rate of two boats per year and a total of 34 have been produced through 2021. Most Virginia-class boats procured in 2019 and subsequent years are to be built with the Virginia Payload Module, VPM, 
an additional 84-foot-long mid-body section equipped with four large-diameter vertical launch tubes for storing and launching Tomahawk cruise missiles or other payloads. Procured at a rate of two boats per year, VPM-equipped Virginia-class SSNs have an estimated procurement cost of about $3.4 billion per boat. As part of the Virginia Class's third, or Block 3, contract, the Navy redesigned approximately 20% of the ship to reduce their acquisition costs. Most of the changes are found in the bow, where their traditional air-backed sonar sphere has been replaced with a water-backed large aperture bow, LAB, array which reduces acquisition and life cycle costs while providing enhanced passive detection capabilities. The new bow also replaces the 12 individual vertical launch systems, VLS, tubes with two large diameter 87-inch Virginia payload tubes, VPTs, each capable of launching six Tomahawk cruise missiles using multiple all-up round canisters, MAX, already produced on SSGNs. The VPTs simplify construction, reduced acquisition costs, and provide for more payload flexibility than smaller VLS tubes due to their added volume. The Block 3 design changes will continue on all future Virginias and were successfully proven out during USS North Dakota's SSN-7A4 Builder Sea Trials in August of 2014. Block 3 hulls include the eight ships procured from 2008 and 2013, SSN-7A4 through 791. A Congressional Research Service report reveals new details about the U.S. Navy's Next Generation Attack Submarine, or SSNX. The sub, which begins procurement in 10 years, will refocus the U.S.'s undersea fleet away from supporting land wars to fighting enemy fleets both above and below the waves. The Navy's current attack submarine fleet consists of a mix of older Los Angeles-class submarines, Seawolf-class submarines, and the latest class of Virginia-class submarines. The Virginia-class, currently in production, was meant to combine an affordable platform with a submarine that could operate closer to shore and support the land conflicts of the 9-11 era. The unprecedented peacetime expansion and modernization of China's People's Liberation Army Navy, as well as the introduction of new Russian attack and missile submarines, has prompted the U.S. Navy to begin development of SSNX. Like the short-lived Seawolf class before it, SSNX will be built to directly take on enemy submarines and surface ships. A submarine focused on fighting other navies needs things the Virginias don't have, including a strong hull for exceptionally deep diving, more torpedo tubes, and a larger internal torpedo or missile magazine. The subs will also likely be larger to accommodate linking up with and transporting uncrewed undersea vehicles. The new report says the Navy is examining three different options for SSNX a design based on the Columbia-class ballistic missile submarine, one on the Virginia, and a brand new design. A Columbia-based boat built for carrying nuclear missiles would be huge, but could cost a lot to operate down the road. A Virginia-based boat, meanwhile, would be easier to develop, but could suffer similar limitations to the current class of boats. And an entirely new sub could check off every one of the Navy's requirements, but still be expensive to develop and build, at least at first. The SSNX could also include laser weapons, large flank sonar arrays, a quieter electronic dive system, and hypersonic weapons. <laughs>